what to do when your snake thinks you're food. Okay, so I reached in with my hand. As you'll see from my video yesterday, I normally reach in with a jumper, but <laughs> my tail was just moving. But uh, I was changing over her water, and then I thought if I just offer her a flat palm, no, she thought it was food. Uh, not gonna lie, this does hurt a little bit. I probably should have offered her the back of my palm, because your palm, back of my hand, because your palm's quite sensitive. First trick to try and get a snake to let go, this is vinegar and water. Spray it in the mouth, just like, just, let's see, can you, yep, she, nope, she hates it, but she's trying to hold on more, okay, um, which I knew because I have done this before, this is not my first time, first time that Lilith has been like, mmm, food, wait, or, actually I think she might be, now this works for all of my other snakes, because as soon as they're like, growth, vinegar, they let go, but Lilith loves food. Are you gonna let go? Are you gonna let go? She's not gonna let go. That doesn't work. There is a reason I offered her the flat of something. I made sure all my fingers are together because when she wraps around a finger, she'll think for longer that that's food. Now you can see, where is she? There she is. Yeah, she's there. My next way, and I know this is the only way that really helps. I'm gonna hold you in the hand for a second. That's got her. Uh, yeah. Bathroom. And yeah, I'm just gonna, running water, honestly. Um, I don't too long because you don't want them to swallow water but also see if this works I don't know ironically she is actually getting food tomorrow so come on She's actually loosening up. Right. Okay, from the water and the vinegar, she's actually loosened up a bit. Um, both her whole... Oh, I actually think she might. Yeah, she's about to let go. Uh, okay, every time she twists, bloody hurts. Um, now, what you'll notice I'm not doing is I'm not pulling her face away from me because as you can see right there, she's got her teeth in me. And if I pull away, it'll pull her teeth out, or it could pull her teeth out, which could cause a mouth infection, which could be really bad. Um, you just don't want that. Uh, and honestly, while it hurts, not the worst thing in the world. So my next, my next trick, after she's loosened up a bit. Okay. Oh, I just felt her a little, little bit let go. Next thing, not from the head, from the tail, like I showed yesterday when they wrap around you. I'm just going to unwrap her really carefully because here it hurts. Because if she's not wrapped around food, she doesn't really think it's food. So I'm just trying to stop her feeding response. Firstly, by unwrapping her from my arm. And just leaving her with this bit. And hopefully, if I hold her out like this, she'll eventually let go. This actually hurts a little bit more because her body isn't keeping her still. <laughs> and she's trying to, like, pull onto it. So let's see if she lets go, though. Come on. Ma'am, it's very rude. If you could just let go. Okay. Just, we'll just, I'll be here. Okay. Ooh, this is why if you have snakes that are bigger, oh, and especially if you have a snake that you know is very food driven or cage defensive and is going to butt, mm, 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 mm. So she's trying to wrap around again. Um, you really need two people <laughs> because uh, Lilith is not big. That didn't tickle. Um, she's a kilo and a, one and a half kilos. Um, she's not even six foot, um, but still, and she doesn't even she doesn't even have limbs. She, she has no thumbs. It is quite hard for me to handle her now. Last, last thing, you can actually try and separate the teeth. Um, the way to do that, though, I'll show you. Victory! She has let... Don't bite my face. Don't you dare. Um, so she's let go. <laughs> Her mouth is a bit stretched out. I am going to check her mouth. I went to grab this, and as I was walking back, she decided she would let go. I'm not going to show you my hand. 
because it's got a bit of blood on it and TikTok might block that and you probably don't want to see that. So look, I'm fine. She's fine. She's a python. Oh, yeah, she definitely has water in her mouth. Um, <laughs> surprised the water didn't work. Last time it worked much quicker. Anyway, that's what she... Now, see what difference a few minutes makes? <laughs> yeah, I've wrapped up my hand. I've cleaned out her enclosure, found uh, some of the pee and the poop that apparently she wanted to hide from me. She's, she likes to go in her hide. But, yeah. Anyway, clean her enclosure as well. Um, she is not happy about the fact that I sprayed crap in her mouth um, and now I've cleaned her enclosure. How dare I? I'm trying to tell her she is not the wrong party here. But see, look, very different snake now that she's out and she realises, firstly, that I'm not food and that there is no food. Um, I can put it right up to my head. Very different snake. Just got to teach her that not everything that comes into her enclosure is food. And part of that is I just, I need to be better at holding her more regularly. And I probably need to um, have a ritual for food time to tell her that it's time for food. So I need to, something, whether it's something visual or um, auditory or a combination of both that tells her that it is now food time or sit like, girlfriend knows it's food time because she can smell it but she also knows the ritual she knows if I start moving stuff around to the left of her enclosure <laughs> that's normally what happens when it's food time but Lilith will learn but I think I also need to come up with some food time rituals to teach her when it's food time and when it's not and that'll be easier for the oh man oh it is so hard to be her can I have a kiss Hey, you bit me today, I got a kiss. Okay, okay, you can, yeah. Yeah. I want to say. Um, part of the reason I'm sharing this is to show you kind of, you know, you snake owners are scared of when they get bitten, but generally, especially if you have small, like, baby snakes, um, their bites normally aren't this. It's normally just a strike. Um, this is the only snake I've, I have that um, doesn't let go as soon as I put... Um, vinegar in her mouth spray some vinegar in there another thing to use that i've seen people say to use is alcohol mouthwash i don't use it because i'm not sure about what mouthwash these people are using and what is in the different ones but i know vinegar vinegar is fine um it can also be used to clean some of their enclosures and to deodorize um but i would rather get bitten by even lilith every day on the hand uh than have to deal with um like getting bitten by a dog or getting a proper bite or a scratch, a deep scratch from a cat uh, because um, pet pet snakes, snakes that are um, kept in enclosures are clean. They, they're not going to infect me. They're not going to give me an infected bite. It's just, it's just going to be a bit like pricking myself with a needle. Yeah. It doesn't even hurt anymore. Yeah. If anyone wanted to see what a python bite looks like after it stopped bleeding. It's only been about an hour. Yeah, that's right. I've been bitten by snakes and lived. <laughs>